Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where we speak about Tesla and a road trip in electric vehicle. So where is this place? We are in the north of France in Reims. Reims which is very well known for the Champagne but also for this magnificent cathedrals. So where are we here today? We are going to talk about the supercharger which is close to Reims as a city. We are going to review the charging station there and explain how much speed we can add when we recharge there and what are the amenities around there. And then we are going to review the city of Reims if you want to stop to have good food or also to spend the night there or visit the city and the cathedrals as you can see here. So hope you stay around for this video. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So we are on our way to Reims and the highway is pretty nice, not too crowded. Reims is in the northeast of France, as you can see, and it's very well located. If you want to go to the Netherlands from the UK or to visit France, the Tesla supercharger is just outside of the city. So very well located, close to the highway as well. And they exist and it's called the Reims Tinque supercharger so you can see it on the map or on your gps in the car if you want to recharge what is interesting there is there is quite a good supercharger available there there is 12 of them and there are version 3 supercharger so as you can see this is the newest high speed supercharger up to 250 kilowatts and we'll see in this video if we can get to that speed uh, also there there is some very good amenities there is a Novotel hotel just next door and the Ibis hotel so you have two hotels where you can stay overnight there but you also have choice of restaurants there is a restaurant of the Novotel that you can try and the Novotel has a swimming pool if you go in the summer uh, and there is a courte paille restaurant which is also a restaurant for meat eaters if you love meat so when we arrive we plug uh, to charge and we were at around 34 percent and as you can see uh, the charging speed was quite good you want for right away to 140 kilowatts but we wanted to know how much we could get and maybe to get higher rate you have to start our highest rate for us was 150 kilowatts which is quite good and it make you charge your car in a, a very uh, good uh, speed so no problem for us under like 30 minutes we could charge uh, the, the car uh, for our next destination then around there uh, there was a lot more cars who were coming when you arrive as you could see before there was not too many Tesla but um, by the time we left it was quite crowded but it's not an issue because on the version 3 supercharger you can you don't share the electricity so you can park next to each other but I think it's kind of a habit and everybody was trying to leave a space between each other where it's not needed anymore for those version 3 high speed supercharger up to 250 kilowatts. Uh, across from her on those green um, bushes it's the hotel. So the Novotel is just in front of us and uh, you can see the rooms are quite nice. You can see the swimming pool and they have a big garden around them as well. So if the weather is nice and you go to the hotel for lunch or to stay for dinner or even for breakfast it's a good way to pass the time when you are charging the charging uh, was uh, quite fast for us so we didn't go to the hotel in this stop but we still enjoy a good time you have a wi-fi as well available from the hotel so if we have to rate this uh, supercharger i think we'll give it a four out of five because it's very good you have a toilet at the hotel you can go and they are very nice you can uh, have restaurant food uh, you can stop there 
Uh, why it's not a five? Uh, probably because it's outside of the city center. So apart from the restaurant, from the hotel, then you are in a zone where there is not too much things to do walking around. Uh, you are a bit stuck on this parking lot. So that only uh, downside from this, expect from that, I think the rest was pretty good for us. And now we are going to visit the city of Reims. Uh, we arrive at Place Drouet d'Erlon, which is the main street where you can find all the restaurants, bars, if you want to have a drink. And um, there is parking available underground parking which is not too expensive we now arrive at the fontaine subé which is in the heart of reims as well very close to those restaurants bars and also hotels if you want to stay in a hotel in the center of reims you can also stay in airbnb we tried both the hotel is great for one night you arrive everything is ready the airbnb are very easy and not too pricey either you can get your breakfast in the street a lot of those cafes are open in the morning and are very good for lunch option as well and now we arrive at the cathedral of reims this magnificent cathedral was built in the year 1211 until 1345, so quite a long time to build it. The height of the cathedral is 80 meters and the length is 150 meters. This is a place where it was a coronation of kings of France so beautiful to visit and you will see there is hundreds of statues around the cathedral as well of different scents and also beautiful uh, windows uh, available to, to see. Uh, so walk around, take the time to visit these cathedrals and hear the gong from the church. I will leave you enjoy this view and then we'll recap our trip in Reims. This is Place Royale, our last stop to visit the center of France. And by the way, you can do everything walking. So park your car in an underground parking and then visit the city of France. And there are a lot more to visit in that city. So we will go back for sure for another trip. And now we are going to our next destination. I hope you really enjoyed this video of France. And if you like it, please don't hesitate to click the like button and also to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and see you soon for another of my videos. Thank you and bye bye.